Sometimes when you're writing a program, you need a block of code to continue to run until a condition is met. Or depending on how you write it, you could run a block of code until that condition isn't met. And for these, we need something called a loop. There are different kinds of loops. We're going to specifically look at while loops and in the next video, for loops. So you can see how these work here. On line four, I have set up uh, a simple variable that just takes the temperature in degrees and it just equals a number and I've just chosen 38. Then the loop runs here from line six. While the temperature in degrees is less than or equal to 41. Now these are just mathematical operators. We've seen these before. I could just have less than 41 or I could have greater than 41. Whatever you know you, you, you need, you can kind of use those mathematical operators to figure that out for you. So while the temperature in degrees, degrees remains less than or is the same as 41, then we print temperature in degrees. So 38 follows this condition. So we should start by printing 38. But then I've added this extra line here. So I've redefined my variable. So I've told it that the temperature in degrees should now be equal to the temperature in degrees plus an extra one. So what it should do is print 38 and then add one and then add one and then add one and keep looping through adding one, adding one, adding one until we reach this condition here. So once we hit 42, because we're no longer less than or equal to 41, it should stop running this loop and then jump to this line and print this text. So let's see if it works. So we run it, we get 38, 39, 40, 41, we've met a condition, the loop ends, and then it jumps to the next line and prints, it's too hot outside. So when you're writing programs, sometimes you'll need to build in something to be happening continuously until a condition is met. And that's what these while loops are for.